What if I told you you had just 20 minutes and $20 to find profit in a thrift store? How much money do you think you can make? Well, that's the challenge that I've got for two of my reselling buddies today. Here are the rules. Let's meet today's challenges. He calls himself the thrift guy, but will that be the case today? Jack's Oz treasure hunters will be hoping to find some treasure and, well, it's your boy. All right, boys, here's your world of cards. The challenge starts now. Fight! Oh, so we've got 20 minutes, where should we go first? I'm thinking, I'm thinking toys and DVDs. And I also don't want to let the boys know what I'm up to either, just yet. We've only just started this challenge, so. Let's see how we go. I'm in the toy section now. I don't know what these are. This one's missing a couple, but this one's complete. 20 bucks on that one. Jax was in the toys and the thrift goat was in the DVDs. I'd made my way to the electronics. Just found this. It's a Sonwa. SDVD 300 and for an electronic it's 20 bucks so we can play with this but I don't know what it's worth I'm gonna to have to check the comps just found this as well it's a Bluetooth speaker and it's only $12 look at that 12 bucks so I don't know what the comps are on this I'm gonna do some quick searching and see if it's worth a little bit all right so the DVD player worth absolutely nothing and the Bluetooth iPod speakers 17 bucks internationally so Electronics, no good. Yeah, these are actually pretty cool. Eight bucks. You can get two of those. Let me comp those up. Just found some 505s as well. I think there'll be another 10 bucks. Yeah, 10 bucks on those two. Oh, oh here we go. 20 bucks. Oh, new attacks. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Norman. Oh, there's some Levi's over that side. I'm on the wrong side. Oh, 10 bucks. 503s. This guy's name is Little Bill Golly. Golly? Golly Wobble. Yeah, Little yeah. Bill Golly. I had a look at him before. Mm. Do you reckon you'll take him? No. <laughs> you've only got 20 to spend. What do you mean? What? You're going you're gonna to use all your money, 20 bucks, on one pair of shoes. Interesting. 15, okay. No, 15. i got five whole dollars. Clearly, clearly you want to lose. <laughs> They're not a bad pickup. Damn. They're not a bad pickup. <laughs> They're $8 into around $30. Have you already been here? I've already been here. Damn. They're cool though, aren't they? If you get it cheaper, you definitely get them all. Yeah. It's not just bragging rights today either. I've got some prizes up for grabs. One for the winner and one for the loser that you don't want to get your hands on. The boys don't know what's inside here and trust me, you did not want to get the blue lunchbox. If you are the winner of the challenge today, you're going to get yourself some caramel slice. So fingers crossed the lucky person can enjoy that. If you are the loser though, we've got a red chili and I don't want to be the person that eats it. So let's get back in there and find some cool stuff. With the stakes now set, I was starting to get a little bit nervous. The books here weren't paying off for me. I wasn't finding too much stuff, so I thought I might need to think a little bit outside the box. Doing a video, and I'm in a series right now where I'm challenging a couple of the boys in here to find the most profitable item. Yeah. And they don't know. Yeah. They don't know that I'm doing this. Oh, really? No. I spoke to the store manager and I got myself out the back. Free reign on really good items that weren't yet to hit the shelves. It was time to do some work. Amazing. This is going to be awesome. We've got a bunch of these. Look at all these. Heap of DVDs that have not been touched. And if I can find some quick values so the boys don't know that I'm in here. Oh, boys have no idea. I've got this. I have got this. I can even take... I'm sure she'll give me that for a couple of bucks. If that was like four bucks or something, that would be obviously a 40 buck huge win. No! Oh no! Okay, so the first win is a complete collection here. I've got a bit of Fry and Lorry. So, comps up, I'm sure they're going to be good. Haven't checked, but we're only having $5 in on this one. 
So my time was pretty short-lived in here, guys, but I did come across a Nintendo DS with a stack of games. Now, this was going to help my cause dramatically. I can't go ahead and buy everything because I've only got the $20 to play with, but I was able to cherry-pick some pretty decent games. You'll see in a second, I've been able to find Mario Kart on the Nintendo DS. There it is there, complete in manual, and I've also got Mario Party on the Nintendo DS as well. So these games were a huge come-up. All right, I don't know. I don't want the boys to know that I've come out the back, so I'm just going to take the two DS games and the DVD, and I'm going to run back into the floor, and hopefully they don't know that I've been gone for too long. And while I was making the great escape, it looks like Jack's found something that I might have missed. I think I've just found the jackpot here. Fill a bag of books for five bucks, and I'm going to put all of these child craft books in there. Oh yeah. See if I can pull a, uh, a ping, ping golf club out of here. At least 100 bucks in that. It's not looking too good at all. Nope, no luck there. Books. You got books? I got books. High price books. I got two sets, $100 one set. One there, that's over 200 bucks. So you reckon you won it? Couple magazines. I reckon I won it. Damn! Look where we find this guy. 100%. 100% is here. What are you doing? Awesome. Where looking else are looking for bricks, are you? Where else would I go? Tell you what, I've lost a lot of much. No, no. So it looked like Jax was feeling pretty confident about things and Thrift Goat and I were a little bit worried. There was a bit of a frantic finish to the end. We were racing around. Thrift Goat found this book that'll comp up for a few dollars and I was diving into the shoe section, which is where I didn't think I would be today. In the end, we've come away with some pretty good results. Game over. All right, boys, we're all done. We've got three stacks. $60 has been spent, $20 a piece. We're gonna go through the numbers. You all know, you've all got your comps. Mm -hmm. You've got your comps for proof? Yep. No, they are. Got your they comps for proof? Screen. All right. So Matt, you're gonna kick us off. You got three items here. What have you got? Matt came away with these Adidas Gazelles. They're in pretty good nick and the comps on eBay are worth about $75. So I thought that was a pretty good grab for him. He did spend $15 though and he only had $5 left to play with. And there was one other item that he did found that was pretty good. And this is the uh, the Jimi Hendrix musical notebook. Look, I don't know too much about this one, but he did find a comp that was 40 bucks plus postage. So we're gonna give him a full $50 for this one here per the rules that we've got in place. And then this one here was a vintage magazine that he reckoned was worth $15 per individual page. But unfortunately, there were no comps to go by. Yeah, It's a tricky one, that one, because we do have the rules where you do need the comp and we don't have a comp for that one. So that's $125 worth of resale value. Well played, 20 and 125. Yeah, I could that, do better. That's pretty good though. Yeah. You only had 20 minutes. It's okay. You're profiting immediately. Yeah. Uh, all right, really quickly on me, I've got this one here, the American Chopper. Now we all found this one. Um, there's a comp there for 50 bucks for that one. I've got two Nintendo DS games, 30 bucks a piece for Mario Kart DS and Mario Party DS. And then a, uh, a complete series, boys. You guys know how much I love a complete series. That one's only five bucks, turns into 30 bucks. So when you add my little stash up, I spent $19 and it turns into a clean 150. So I reckon I'm on a picture. You did. I got you by about 25 bucks. You did. So 125. I would just like to say, there's no price tags and these just magically appeared. So oh. it could be. I've got I receipts. Know. I've got receipts. He's got receipts. But, I got uh, receipts. No, no, no ticket. It's, it's okay. Are you, are, you, are you okay with it though? Yeah, it's all good. You're okay? It's in. It's okay. In. okay. Because I know what's okay, coming. Okay. As, long as, as long as he's okay. As as okay. I know what's coming. <laughs> there you go. All right, Jax, kick it right. off, mate. Start with this little one here, this Mother Goose set. Uh, no exact comps on this one, but a similar one sold for 35 overseas. So we'll start with the 35 on that one. 35 bucks, yep. Um, this uh, Child's Craft set as well, there's a couple of comps on these. One had sold for 130. Yep. A couple on That's this big. one here. I think there was a couple uh, more comps on the blue. Uh, color, yeah, uh, a little right. bit more, but I'm gonna go 130 on that one, and that's like a half set, so I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna say 40 bucks on that there. You saw, you showed me a 200 dollar comp before, which one was that I for? did, that one was this one right here. Oh, there. So there was a sold comp for 43 of these. I haven't actually counted exactly, but it's, that's three, that's six, that's nine, that's 10 right there, so I reckon there's about 30, 35 there. Okay. Um, so look, I'll take out a couple, so I'm gonna say that's around, Let's just go 150. We'll go 150 on that. 150? And I actually paid $15 for all of that there. I got three filler bags 
of books, $5 each. So 15 bucks into all that. So you've gone $5 less than budget. <laughs> $5 less than budget. And from what you're telling me, I think you've won. I think so too. You're I think right. you've won think basically, think basically think so just too. finding these books alone. I think so. Well played, mate. Not too bad. Well played. Pretty good. good. Well good played. Good awesome. <laughs> awesome. Well done. Good effort. Great game. All right. Now, boys, there is a penalty though. And I think we're looking at the... Uh, the uh, you, you got... Hey, he, he walked here, so he can't drive anyway. Uh, so he's all good. You got to, you got to go, dude. <laughs> yeah, I've just got to... I'm, the, uh, I've got a lunchbox though for you. It's lunchtime. Uh, it's no, lunchtime. It. Let's have some oh, lunch. Oh, oh, chili. oh, chili dog. <laughs> Get into it. I love that shit. You love it? Oh, yeah. damn it. <laughs> it's <a> chili. <laughs> he, sn he snacks on that at home. Yeah, you, you like chili? I hate chili. Damn it. Because I don't. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, actually I'm actually really disappointed that you're a chili man. Let me know in the comments below, for the next Lunchbox Challenge, what should be the penalty? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments.